the hike actually started really nice. We had a beautiful sunny day and hiked with constant views of a mountain lake and the glaciers around us all the way up to the Opera Hütte where we spent the night. And this was actually my first hike together with my family. So yeah, those hikers are my parents and they made it all the way to the hut. Day, we said bye to my family and continued on the trail just the two of us. It was an early start as we were likely to get rain in the afternoon so we wanted to make as much progress as possible. The rain, or hail to be precise, got us at the top of the pass. But that was not my main problem at that point. The pass was crazy steep. It looked more like a rubble of rocks than a path. Various cables were there to help on ascending and descending, so I held to them dearly, hoping not to make any wrong steps. It was really, really scary. The 
next morning the weather stayed grim, with clouds obscuring the views. After the Black Lake, as we climbed further, we encountered more and more snow, until we ended up hiking in a blizzard. And nope, there's no footage from there sadly, it was too miserable to film. And yeah, it's July and we're in a winter wonderland instead. Once we reached the top, the weather gods showed their mercy and the blizzard stopped. However, the descent that waited for us was covered in snow and looked more like an abyss than a path. Did I say yesterday was scary? Today was damn scary. Compared to the previous two days, our day 4 was chill. The pass crossing was easy and we only had one short cable section when crossing an exposed cliff. The weather was great too, allowing us to enjoy the scenery around us.
The last day was very short, as we only needed to descend to the valley until Gronewand had. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, otherwise sorry Germans and Austrians. It was a peaceful ending to such a spectacular and scary hike. Thanks Bernie the Trail. <laughs>